Welcome back, folks, to more Deponia. Let's arm these fucking dolphins with some torpedo Every equipment. Every trained sea mammal that is ready to fire torpedoes at my fleeing girlfriend, raise your fin. Yeah. All right. Time to fuck shit up. Make Daddy proud. All right, let's go ahead and save our game here. The torpedo dolphins are ready, and I know the position of the submersible, so that's it then. Let's do this shit! Uh, what? Dolphin, go to smoke your ass, motherfucker, bitch. About to get smoked by a motherfucking dolphin, Run. Point is to get this fucker like completely trapped in the corner. Good at this shit. It took like 19 motherfucking tries. No, damn it. Got you, bitch. Huh? What? That's right, Hooker. Do you think the fact that I used torpedoes to cause a part of her to capsize might negatively affect my chances with Gold? Normally one would assume that, yes. After all, half of her is a third of your girlfriend. Fuck that, I don't Whatever give a you shit. Might call your relationship. And fuck you, Bozo. What do you know about for? pussy? <laughs> a dramedy of errors. <laughs> Dang it, closed. Too closed for my taste. I'll find another way. Get back out there, soldier. I'm going down there now. Maybe there's a back door. In a submersible? 
Sounds rather illogical. Yeah, but as I'm sure you know, the laws of logic have no effect underwater. Uh, no, that's not true. Now stop this underwater claptrap and just lower me down, okay? All right, it's your neck. Oh shit. Dolphins are looking bitchy. Now there's no room for me. Okay, I have a plan. Are you sure the word plan means what you think it does? From what I've seen, it could just as well mean hangover, epileptic fit, or pebble in your shoe. Just trust me, the dolphins absolutely want a target. Presenting <laughs> Ray Coulson. The, in the broadest sense of the term, human target. I take back everything I ever said about you, because you scare me. Ah, uh, finally. Next time, you might want to tell me when you're going to switch my mind. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> this will be fun. Yes? Hello? Hmm, very funny. Oh, man. <laughs> I must definitely do that again right away. <laughs> what? Rufus? Was that you? Rufus! Blasted idiot. Next time, I'll toss him overboard. <laughs> it gets funnier every time. Once again, we're feeling... What? <laughs> Nice face Why imprint. Don't you just cut off the bell. Because I am planning to cut something entirely different off of the immature idiot. Uh -oh. That's not a bad idea either. Ow. Nice dent and print. A lousy camp with this Stone Age equipment. I ought to be glad the. Yeah, yeah. Just take the fucking candle and shut up, Dick Licker. We obviously need to make a face imprint. The pot is still hot. Maybe hot enough to light the candle. I mean, melt. Yep, that's the perfect subject for a wax impression. Or a larger-than-life statue at the entrance to the harbor. T 
time for my stunt double, Ray Coulson. Hey, Bozo, <laughs> together again at last, raiding the <laughs> seven seas, just like in the... Well, we only met a few days ago, but I already know that all attempts to interrupt you when you're acting like that are futile. So I'll just keep talking like nothing happened and hope you get over it sooner or later. <laughs> Good old Bozo, you really haven't changed one bit. Can you please help me lower the dummy? Sure. Oh, yeah. Do you think they're taking the bait? It's worth a try. Those critters really appear to hate you. Yes, but why? It might have something to do with the fact that you transformed their children into canned fish. But that's not true. Oh, I see. You merely helped them jump into the kitchen, where all of a sudden a few cans of tuna appeared, right? Perhaps Yanosha's mom had to make a little room on her shelf for the aquarium. For the aquarium. Exactly, because I would never... Whoa! No matter what you did, they are really pissed off. Fuck them and fuck Flipper. Are you ready for another dive? All right. It's your neck. That's not good. the perch, the search for the submerge was brought to a halt. They stopped Donna Gold's spins with torpedo dolphins, and finally Hoaglins, I cannot exalt. How extendingly aced, he was dragged to the base, the bell for the last round was about to chime. The showdown was imminent, and if not, I apprehend the chorus guys will have to work over time. Over time. <laughs> Rufus, just where have you been? I was forced to submerge for a while. You picked a great time for that. While you were out snorkeling, we were kidnapped by Donna Gold in a surprise attack. I can't leave you alone, not even for a moment. She took Gold with her, as well as the remotes and the cartridges. Nonsense. I've got them right here. Uh, oh crap, there must be a hole in my coat. I keep losing stuff. This time you lost more than usual. Cletus was here. He took both goals with him. They're planning to travel to Porto Fisco in Argus's cruiser. Argus is here too? Well, his cruiser is moored alongside that blast tower over there. Criminy! The blast tower! The rebel attack has already started. But that's suicide! You're right. They're completely lost without me. Oh, Rufus. You really don't know when it's time to give up. Of course I know that. And it starts with N, right? What's the situation, Doc? Still hopeless. Fantastic. At least then, none of them can escape me. Can you tell what's going on over there? I think the rebels have started to storm the tower. Now I see it too. The tower is already shaking a lot. And I see a swarm of trained fireflies. Um, Rufus, why don't you sit down for a moment? 
You've been on your feet for a long time. No worries, Doc. I feel becky mecky sucky sucky What are those strange cabins over there? Looks like organ arm technology. Probably decommissioned goods transporters from the blast tower. Goods transporters from the blast tower? I hope you aren't thinking about using them. That would be utter madness. One little mistake, and you'll wind up as a cloud of molecules. At best, your genes will end up mixed with the vermin that have nested in there. Cool. Listen to me just this once. Using them would be the absolutely stupidest thing you could do. Exactly. Nobody would be expecting it. Unless they know you. Are you familiar with these matter transporters? I hope you aren't thinking about using them. Why? That would be utter madness. One little mistake, and you'll wind up as a cloud of molecules. At best, your genes will end up mixed with the vermin that have nested in there. This reminds so, me of the movie that can't be reversed. <laughs> Who said that? A genetic fusion of that sort is an extremely complex matter. Once two species have crossed their genes, then... In fact, I'm quite sure it's inspired by the Are movie. you familiar with these matter transporters? Why? The Who said it? What? Where's Bozo? Down in the cockpit. He's trying to restart the generator. But the current collectors are empty. We'll probably be stuck here for a couple of hours yet. That's too long. You could help him by holding the lamp. It's too narrow down there for me. Hmm. I don't know. Rufus, Rufus, heroically he held the lamp. It, uh, no, that won't work. I'll find another way. And have you gotten any further? It would go faster if you helped. Oh, I can't right now. I'm very close to finding my own way. You don't think much of teamwork, do you? Sure, sure. One for all and uh, uh, whatever you're doing there. I'm gonna try something. I would say don't do anything rash. But since you're not listening to me even now, I'll just say I hate you. I hate you from the bottom of my soul. Thanks, Doc. Good luck to you too. On the contrary, I love all you out there watching my Chaos from Deponia LP. Stay tuned for the finale, the last episode. Soon to come. Thank you for watching.